What up fam, and welcome back to our channel. I'm Deb. Before we get into much today, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when we drop goodies like these. Welcome back, it's a treat. Great play fam, come on, let's eat. Thumbs up the video, let's get to at least 1K likes. Not gonna complain if we get it some more. Shall we pray? First and foremost, we'd like to give thanks in honor of God. We'd also like to thank you for those that are joining us in regards to what moon temperament they are in when they arrive. We pray that it's uplifted by the time they depart. Father God, we'd also like to thank you for divine intervention because sometimes we can be so stuck in ruts in our lives that we don't understand that we're walking away unintentionally from the promises that you made to us. So thank you for the foresight of divine intervention. So in your son Jesus name we pray, amen, amen. Amen. What we got before y'all today? So head on shrimp, none head on shrimp, lobster tails. Um, this is a sweet and spicy um, Jamaican jerk chicken or a bed of rice with some, I don't know what kind of green vegetables these are. Couple of soft boiled eggs in the back. That's it, that's all. Ooh. Let me mix this up a little bit. All right. Now for the OGs that have been here a while, y'all know back in the day, we used to do full-fledged videos at all hours. It is 11.30. This is supposed to be like a late lunch, maybe on time dinner. But Jazz has been wanting some candy, AKA cracked grapes. So I spent the better part of the day getting all of the resources and everything I needed to do that. Now when I do get around to it, I'll definitely remember to show y'all some before and afters. But also while I was in the process of locking down everything that I needed, I figured out something else that I'm going to make for her and the kids. I'm going to probably make the kids some cracked grapes also. Maybe a different color and flavoring. I don't know fully just yet. As far as the color, different color scheme. Just a thought, we'll see. But I'm also going to make stuffed waffles. Stuffed waffle cones. Not stuffed waffles. I'm gonna do those too, but right now we're talking about the desserts. Because while I do enjoy cooking, I love baking. So with the downstairs area almost fully back operational.
it's been pretty good. For work and getting back to getting back to business. Because Bay was in the comfort of bed while I made all of this. She didn't want any of the sweet and spicy chicken nor rice, but she opted to have rice instead. The lobster tail still and some head on shrimp. that we acquired on a vacation out of town. And very recently. We'll talk about that another time. Hmm. I already had most of the things that I need it in order to prepare the candy grapes. It was just the odd end stuff that I was missing from when I was supposed to do it initially, but things got interrupted. The construction crew straight up jacked me for the Jolly Ranchers. Because I'm talking about the hard cracked grapes over the soft crack. I'll be really excited once we do have another stove down here. Mm. Because it'll make baking really all the more easier. Because right now with it pushing midnight, Although I'm in the mood to, I can't have an all out baking session in the middle of the kitchen, in the middle of the house, without disrupting the house. However, on the other side of that is, downstairs, conjoined to the media room, like over that way, is a kitchen. That's also isolated and soundproofed. So we almost there, y'all. This is really good. The chicken outfit was one of the pre-made meals from Publix. When I saw the sweet and spicy jerk chicken, 
that's honestly what piqued my interest. For the lobster tails, I have two that are lemon pepper seasoned, and I have one that's seasoned with Tabitha Brown's seasoning that we acquired out of Sam's. Mm. Top of the brown season that we acquired out of Sam's. It's pretty good. This is the first time that I've used it. We have a pretty deep seasoning cabinet. We're like all kinds of different flavors for different occasions. Mm. Excuse me. One day we'll have to go on a tour, y'all. Tour of the seasoning cabinet. Show y'all what our spice and seasoning game is working with. I think I'm gonna wind up eating more than I anticipated. I thought that this was probably gonna be chicken breast, but it wound up in chicken thighs, so. The dark meat's moisture and texture is what is really accenting the rest of the entree very well. Our weekend is pretty phenomenal. We had an absolute blast. Although, it wasn't without its bumps in the road, though. Still, overall, great weekend. For those of you that have remained until this point in the video, get a little treat. With the downstairs area practically almost done, I might actually have one or two of the construction workers with me in the video soon. Two of them had a peak interest when I asked about videos today and when they asked me what we were going to eat and I showed them this with the chicken being marinated the beforehand it was too appealing for them so that's their note But as everything came together, they look, they're like, um, well, Dad, 
can we try that next time? Because we have this, this time, and we didn't know that it was gonna look like that. So we'd like to eat that next time. I said, okay, son. But they were pot committed to those chili dogs, though. Four, four, three, two, two. From oldest to youngest, how many they ate with their loaded? Chili cheese tater tots. They're like, we ain't even got the room for the chicken pops. Which was surprisingly good. Because y'all know I love lobster. And I've been over here having a blast with chicken. That's the thing about butterflying them and cutting them like this. The meat is different to get out compared to splitting the back and popping up. I have been accruing different recipes to start trying to allow the family to have different taste testings and samples because being perfectly honest For a family of 10 to make a meal from scratch that's also not from your culture. Now I'm talking about a full full course meal. A different requires some planning, preparation. But with our family size, and the age of our kids, sometimes that can be hit and miss. So I feel like taste testings is really like the best of both worlds. get to seek out and try different things to try to start to flesh out different types of food that you do and don't like and the reasons behind it because if you really if you can identify the reason why you don't like something it's a lot easier to identify similar things that you don't like and the opposite things that you really enjoy. Instead of reboiling things, I just threw these in the um, cookie sheet in the oven.
Man, that shrimp tastes like the crab infused its juices into it. That shrimp has the body of a crab. As far as the flavor goes, Am I the only one that's noticed these TV series and apps? They're going off a rick scale, y'all. I like just watched a movie with Marcus Houston and Soraya, best friend. That movie is a prime example of why you have to vet the people that are coming into your life. And even ones that have been there. Because sometimes you can allow emotion to cloud judgment. That took longer than it should have. All right. My good y'all. I had y'all wait for a long time for no read. definitely been a spot on since I'm going to be standing up for probably about the next hour at least save me a little something to snack on just hit the spot Somewhere in the near future when we're back here again, we're going to be talking about struggles and adversities and how 
sometimes they can be mm, I'm not gonna say unintentional blessings but unrealized blessings in the moment because they can train you up for things that you couldn't really ever have planned for in life and those same things are defining and molding factors for other people other people's lives in their adult lives um so struggles and adversities they can be teaching the parents too and we're gonna get get to that and talk about that at some point in the near future not gonna say next video because with how our videos are getting released in the order that they come in it might come before this video unintentionally excuse me and that is one of the mm, the other side of the coin in regards to having a bank and content creation because as long as you haven't edited and published it new content is new content 